So it all started when I was a little kid and I always liked eating. And I was looking at my mom cooking every day. I was also looking at my grandparents and the noise of the kitchen, the smells. It was just fascinating for me. Very quickly, I went into uh, cooking. Barbecuing was really more of a seasonal activity in the part of France I was living because of the weather, very simply. So I only picked up barbecuing when I came living in Dubai. And I was very bad at it. A barbecue party with my friends would end up in ordering pizza because the food was just inedible. But then eventually through practice and more practice and more practice, I started to become a little bit better at it. We were sitting in a night jar in Al Cercal Avenue with my wife and we were discussing about our future plans. Starting from a crazy idea, the brand name Smoking Beards was born. The idea just uh, was popping and then we didn't know what to come up with the name. But then we had to work around the image that he has and what he likes to do. So we were thinking barbecue, fire, the beard, the earring, the tattoo. So we wanted this combination and this is where uh, Smoking Beards came from. So on that same day, I you know, bought the domain name, uh, started the website design and this is how the brand was started. I didn't know if I was a spice brand, if I was an aspiring restaurant, if I would have food trucks. I had no idea where this is all going. I would say the backbone that, that took me from the very beginning to where I am today is the creation of those spice rubs. The first prototype was actually a marinade and it didn't end well because it didn't create the result I was, I was looking for. So I started looking at really mixing spices and creating dry rubs that I could just put on the meat, throw that before the grilling, and that would give an amazing result. Fast forward to 2021, the Rotana group of hotels organized the first barbecue competition called Smoke and Flames. So I got to participate in that. I made it to the semi-finals and I created the first rub of spices that made the Smoking Beards lineup later. So we started by selling the one single spice rub that was created for the Smoke and Flames competition. It was an immediate hit. I'm working with different uh, type of spices and I'm assembling those different flavors and those different textures to really infuse this flavor profile into the meats and into the, the other ingredients. I started meeting really people who were instrumental in the progress of my brand. So I met Tarek and Ola from Cucina del Sol and we started doing cook-offs in their kitchen. And this is also how I got to be introduced into the world of uh, a bit more competitive uh, cooking. They were organizing the UA championships for burgers in 2022, for live fire in 2023. And they really made a big impact uh, in the progress of, of smoking beers. Cucina also did those crazy events where they took hundreds of people out to the desert and live cooking live music. So this was my first really large gathering, uh, high volume cooking. We did another one called Meats and Mountains end of 2023, which was equally amazing. I participated in the UAE Live Fire Championship. First and last place in the World Food Championship barbecue, live fire competition. I didn't see it coming, but I ended up winning and being crowned the UAE barbecue champion. That took me to Dallas, Texas in November 2023 for the World Food Championship. Seven, six, five, four. Nice, nice, nice. As you can judge by my accent, I am French, but I flew all the way from Dubai. I competed against barbecue royalty from all over the world and still made it to the finals, had a fantastic score and the judge recommendation. Your uh, steak was cooked to perfection. Um, I like the simplicity of it. Uh, I like the flavor of the shrimp. In seventh place, that's what we do. I ranked seventh worldwide, which is a very honorable uh, ranking for my first participation in such a high-level competition. This took me up to the next level in terms of the brand's expansion. So I think, you know, when you're cooking, you're cooking for people. And this is really, it's not about the food, it's about, it's about the bonding with the people who are on the other side of the receiving 
uh, the receiving end of the, of the food. I, I, I live for those reactions. This is really what makes me feel completely connected to them. So today we're here together in JB's gastro pub in Amoa Jotana. This is where it all started. And I am now embarking on a three months collaboration with Chef Oliver from JB's. And we're gonna cook an amazing menu for every patron to taste for the next three months. As part of this menu, you will have the occasion to taste every dish that made the history of smoking beards from the start till today. And I've had lots of conversation with aspiring pitmasters and, and people who are just starting barbecuing. If I had one message for you guys, don't give up. Play, try, burn your food, keep it raw, screw your barbecues, it's okay. Because with practice, you become better. And believe me, it is something that is incredibly enjoyable. You will not regret this investment of your time.